Good morning, team. It's Wednesday, the 20th of January, 20 days into the new year, 2001, 2021. Good morning, Susie. Ready for some bicep action? Good morning. Okay. I'll just go through the disclaimer with you. Uh, this workout is intended for fit and healthy. If you have any pre-existing medical conditions, please consult your doctor before you start. Um, online workouts are a little harder, so please pull back if you need to. Uh, neither myself nor Two Rivers accept any responsibility for any injury sustained during the workout. Enjoy your workout. Good morning, Helen. Nice to see you again. So, shoulders and biceps this morning. If you've got your weights nearby, bring them along, get them ready. Good morning, Pam. Who else is joining me this morning? Give me a little wave. It's quite grim outside, so an online workout will do just the job. Okay. So let's just start off with warming up the whole body, rotating the wrists and the ankles at the same time. So one at a time, change direction. Good morning, Pam. And other side. Good, let's mobilize the hips, roll them round. Big circles and change direction. Good. Coming down to your feet, touch your toes, up to standing. Touch your toes, up to standing. Or up to your shins. That's it. And let's reach across the front. Over the top, and then out in front of you. Stretching out the obliques, over the top, on each side, out in front of you. And again, knees are just nice and soft, over the top. So it's a gym session this morning. Get your heavy weights out, whatever you've got. You can do all of the exercises with light weights as well. Okay, nice little squat and lift, squat and lift. Pushing the bums back, shoulders are back core is braced. We want to keep that braced the whole way through the class. I'll keep reminding you though. Side lunge. Static side lunge. So warming up the inner thighs. Oh, it's a little stiff this morning. I was thinking this morning, I can feel my triceps from Monday today. Sometimes it takes two days for that DOMS, that delayed onset um, muscle fatigue to, to catch up with you. And it has. So triceps were on Monday and I'm feeling it. Forward and back lunge. Good, good. We're gonna learn about the Bradford press today. Yep, something different. We're also gonna learn about the different kinds of bicep curls and the different kinds of shoulder press and what they mean for you. To, um, okay, so let's get started. We'll just start off with um, dumbbells warming the shoulders up. Get a nice light set. So roll those shoulders. Something's annoying me. Okay, so roll the shoulders, that's it. Big circles, holding your weights. And forwards. Now take your hands out to the side and hold them there. Palms facing down, knees are soft, tailbone tucked under. Hold it there, hold it there. So this is gonna burn out the shoulders very quickly. Four seconds, three seconds, two. Now turn your, your wrists 
so that they face up towards the ceiling. Still holding the hands out, hold it there, hold it there. Good. Couple more, keep it going, keep it going. Now turn the, 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 um, your arms around so that your palms face the floor again. Feel anything yet? Don't have to answer because I know you're holding your arms up. <laughs> Couple more seconds. Turn it over, other side. So that's warming up the shoulders nicely. Good job, bring them in. Bring them up. Let's just do single arms. Nice and quick, double arms, double arms. Single arm, single arm. Couple more of those. Shoulders should be good to go. Okay, team, big shoulder rolls. Let's get started, shall we? So staying with those weights, we're gonna do some shoulders first. We're gonna do two side raises. So I've got my um, 90 degrees uh, elbow and shoulder in line with each other. Wrist is in line with the elbow and that's the way you wanna keep it the whole time. Same on the other side. We're gonna go two side raises, one rotator. Take a look. Again, two side raises. So I'm getting my elbows in line with my shoulders, then lifting it up working your rotator cuff. Now, if you take your hand right back past your ear, you're likely to damage your rotator cuff. We only do that. So make sure that your elbow, your shoulders are in line with each other, and this weight is in line with your ear. Don't bash your ear. Let's start again. All right, so two singles, one rotator. Now I'm squeezing my glutes, keeping my knees soft, taking that tail, tucking that tailbone full curl. So two halves, one slow curl. Now I'm controlling it all the way back down. So two halves, one slow, right up to your shoulders, twisting it in, twisting it back down to my thighs, controlled. Two halves, one slow. So we're isolating that bicep, giving the full range, bringing it right down to your thighs. Twist it twist it right back up to the top. Okay, we've got it. Let's keep going. Good morning, Patsy. Twisting right up to the top. So first round, 12 sets each. Single, single, twist it right up. Fantastic. You got two more rounds should start to feel a nice little burn starting in those biceps last one and twist it back up good job all right put them down bend the fingers back so you stretch out that bicep again bend the fingers back and we're going to do the shoulders again so supersetting back to back we were just rolling them out first back to back biceps and shoulders here we go, so remember, elbows in line, nice 90 degrees. Elbows go out to the side so that they're in line with your shoulders as your range. Two singles, one rotator, and lift. Again, two singles, one rotator. This time we've got 10 as our um, number of reps. That's three. All right, nice and strong. Remember that plate doesn't go further back than your ears. You're halfway. Lift it up. Good job. Single, single, rotator. Four more rounds. Keep it going. Single, single. Whoa, okay, the burn's coming in. You've got three more rounds. Stay with me. Two to go. This is when your technique starts to fail. Make sure you've got everything in line with each other, controlled. Last one, please. 
beautiful up back down again in right back to so we go straight into the biceps two half curls one full curl good job two half curls control it on the way back down don't let gravity do it that's it that's two reps done lovely good morning Jane twisting it up to your shoulders bringing it back down two singles you're coming up to the halfway mark controlling it beautiful okay I can feel the burn it's working nice four to go twist down twist two rounds ah it hurts one more please that burning is you getting stronger fitter it means that you're effectively you're pulling the muscles apart um, then what we do is we repair it we rest it we feed the muscles with protein and they grow bigger stronger good morning Jim how are we this morning good morning Ed okay so we've done two rounds of those stretch your fingers back just to stretch those biceps out you might want to take one arm over the top okay one more round of those um, and then we move on to different sets but we drop the reps so we're down to eight on each so first up two side raises one rotator let's go two side raises one rotator technique See, it's very robotic working those shoulder blades working the whole of the shoulder beautiful you're halfway two singles three to go Breathe, don't forget to breathe. That's it. Last one, please. Good, straight into your biceps. Two halves, one full. So just up to the belly button, release. Belly button, release. Now a slow single up to the shoulders, twisting back down to the thighs. Again, two singles, one full. And again, two singles. One full. Got it. All right, you got three sets left. We finished with the super set. Morning, Marilyn. Last one, please. Right to the belly button, back down again. Belly button, back down. One slow single, back down. Good job. Put the weights down. Good morning, Ruth. Good to see you. Stretch out those biceps. Okay, what we're gonna do now is, um, I'm gonna go through with you the difference between doing um, a press, a shoulder press, lying flat or inclined, which part of the body, um, the shoulders you'll be working, and what kind of weights you should be using. So, which side does this go? That goes up that way. So on the flat, on a bench, when you do a, um, a shoulder press, we normally go heavy with lots of reps and bring the weights down. Um, <clears throat> But when you do an uh, incline press, your weights are reduced, and I'll explain why first. So let's just go through this. 
So when you do um, a, a, a flat press, feet are nice and firm on the floor. Bottoms nice and firm, the smaller the back goes into the bench. You can do this on a top box, you can do it on the floor. You pick up your weights, you bring them up onto your lap. So they're nice and safe and your arms are tucked in. And then you roll back so that you've got your weights just in front of you, nice and safe. Now from this position, I'm putting my feet flat on the floor, I'm tucking my um, glutes underneath me and I'm tucking my shoulder blades underneath me. Now safely, I can lift the, the dumbbells in front of me. I'm turning them in slightly, getting into the right position before I start. We're gonna bring the, the plates or dumbbells down to in line, just lower than your um, bench. I'm sucking my belly button right up to my spine. I lie looking just in front of you, straight up in front of you, so that you're concentrating on what you're doing. We're gonna go for 12. Three more. Two. Last one. Now I'm gonna stop at the top, turn the dumbbells in towards each other, bring them down to my, my chest, and then roll up safely, putting them down on the floor. The next, then you give yourself a rest at least a minute's rest so that the blood um, and oxygen can go back to your muscle groups. What will happen next is you should go a little bit heavier if you can, um, maybe go f up to two kilograms, but your reps come down. So we did 12 there and I would come down to 10 reps and eight reps and that's how you grow and progress. If you um, do a incline, so the, the muscle groups, when you do a flat press, you're working your chest, your pecs. When you bring your um, weight, the seat up, we change the weight because the focus, muscle focus changes. You're working more of the front of the shoulder here when you bring your bench up. The same, the same things apply though. You need to make sure that you're nice and safe. So you bring your your weights up. Now I have dropped my weights down from a 12 to an 8 because um, you've got less, it, it's harder doing it on an incline press. Same thing, bring the weights to your chest, lift them up, turn them in, make sure your feet are secure on the floor, smaller the back pressed in, and we do the same thing. So you're working the front of the muscles, the shoulders, sorry, Think about sucking the belly button in. So you're actually using not just your shoulders, but you've got a nice strong base. Your core is tight. Your glutes are switched on. Your, your whole body's working to work these, press these plates or dumbbells. Now you can do these in, in sets where you go from 12, 10 and eight um, reps. Again, you can go up with your weights or stay with the same weight until you're ready to progress. Turn them in, bring them down to your chest, roll them up. Okay, we can move this up again further. Okay, same thing applies. As you bring the, the, the seat up, still working the chest. Um, you can go heavier here because you've got the, the support of the backrest to help drive those plates. So um, ordinary, if I was just standing, um, eight kilograms might be too much for me, but because I've got that um, support of the backrest. I can manage with eights. So 
So I bring them right next in front of me so that they're nice and safe. Bending down, bring them up onto my knees. Feet flat on the floor, nice and, and safe. And we're gonna lift them up, press. Turn them in and do us our press. So I'm thinking about squeezing the, that core in. You can add twists to these. It just um, changes the muscle focus, adds on to the actual exercise. Again, you can do these with um, starting in sets of 12, 10, and eight reps. With rests in between, and you can grow with the, the sets. You can go from an eight kilogram, 10 kilogram. Let's do two more. Last one, press it up. Okay, bringing it down safely, down to my knees, putting it down to the side. So that's the difference between having flat press, um, incline, and then straight up. I'm gonna show you the difference with the bicep curls. Same thing. So, um, we start off with biceps. So, we need these, these, So again, I've got three different um, sets of weights here, three, five, and eight. Different kinds of biceps exercises, um, and they, they all have their, their place. They um, offer different isolation. So um, the, the preacher curls is when you, um, you got your weights in front of you, and you bring them down and front, right way. Okay, so this one is best for isolation. You can see I've turned them in, coming right down. You can see that I'm not allowing gravity to, um, to uh, bring the, the weight down next to my, my um, oh, tongue tied, next to my thighs. I'm doing the work, I'm um, making that bicep work. Okay, incline. Now this one is where you bring, you actually use a bench. You'll see in, uh, in the gyms there's actually tables that you can do these. You can go a little bit heavier with these ones. And it's awesome for full range. So what I'm doing is I'm leaning right down and right up. This one's too heavy, let me just do over the fives. So what I'll be doing is elongating the whole muscle group, right down, right back up again. Now you can do this, you can find something at home to do, help you do this, maybe the back of the couch, Four more. Three. Two. Nice. Switch it over, other side. So, you can see how it's an elongated that bicep. Full range. Nice, feels good. Okay, good, stop. I'm gonna go back to the other way around with the shoulder press. So starting in seated, incline,
this time. 10 reps. Shoulders back, feet down, ready, press it up. Let's go. 10. Four more. Two. One. Superset with a bicep curl. I'm going to take this down a little bit and show you. Now I've gone lighter because it's harder, this one. Lying back. Take a look, my bicep curls, again, a whole body, using, stretching out that um, muscle group. Twisting it back to the top, don't allow gravity to just pull it down a lot harder. It also works your pecs. Keep it going, keep it going. Four more. Three to go. Two. Last one. Good. Incline press. Give yourself a couple of seconds just to rest. Good morning, Marshall. Oh. Allow that blood flow, roll it, baby, place your hands, twist it round and back. Rotate. Good. Here we go. Inclines. So remember your technique, nice and safe. Bring it up to your knees first. Sitting back, tucking the tailbone under, feet flat to the floor. Bringing them close, right close to your body, lie down first, then press it up. Turn them in. We've got less reps this time, 10 reps. So turn them in, ready, let's go. Halfway. Ah, oh, I can feel it. Three. Two, last one. Yeah, turn them in safely, bring them down to your body, sitting up safely. Good work. Back to biceps. Okay. So last round of these, we've done one of each. Gonna go heavier with the incline. All right, so bicep curls, gonna go heavier, but I'm gonna drop the uh, reps. We're gonna go down to eight. I can find it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so hammer curls, nice and strong, controlled. You can do singles or you can do doubles, but what you must do is switch the glutes on, make them nice and tight. Twisting it up, controlling it back down again. If you see somebody doing this, you're not really getting the benefit from your bicep curl. It has to be controlled. Elongating that muscle group, stretching it out. Overall good isolation. Well done, T. We're nearly there. 
And then I'll show you what the Bradford Press is. All right, four to go. Two more. Urgh, feeling it. Last one. Good job. All right, place them down nice and safely. All right, so last one of my press. I'm going heavier. Fourteens. I'm lying down flat, flat. So I can go heavier. My weight's going to drop down. Uh, my reps are going to drop down to eight. Take a deep breath. Roll the shoulders back. Keep them there. I'm going to roll back, keeping them safely on your body first, and then you press them up. Eight reps. Okay. Press them up. Get the shoulder blades underneath. Feet are flat on the floor. Just turn them in slightly, and you're pushing out through the heels of your feet. Ready? Let's go. You should struggle, then you know you've got it right. Last one. Right, stop at the top, turn them in. Bring it down to your body, sitting up safely, down to the floor. Well done, okay. Let's roll them out. Well done team. Good, let's show you the Bradford press. Let me move this out the way. So using a barbell with or without weights, this is heavy enough. Bradford press starts here. Elbows, uh, so it's an overhand grip. You take the bar over to the back of your head, back down to your chest. Repeat, repeat. So it's a continual movement. Take a look. Over the top, back again. Now this is heavy enough for me because I'll start to feel the burn very quickly. I'm gonna try and aim for 12. That's four. Ugh. Feeling it. Three to go. Actually brings your heart rate up. Two. Last one. Okay. Put the bars down nice and safely. Now sometimes when you uh, go into the gym, you might see uh, uh, people doing uh, presses or any kind of exercise without any weight on. That is such a good thing to do. It gives you an idea of working out the technique first, gets you into the rhythm, and then you add on the weights. So that's um, a sensible way of um, doing your, your weight training. Right, we've got two more rounds, and then we're finished. 10 and eight. Here we go. So starting position is on your chest, finishing position, back of your head, right over the top. That's one, two, three. Now I'm, I'm moving my head, I shouldn't be. Keeping it looking forward, four. Seven. Oh, feeling it. Eight, two to go. Nine, ten. Place it down. Roll it out. So we work the shoulders today. That will kick in tomorrow, no doubt. 
So what I'm going to do today to help reduce the stiffness, get lots of water on, that flushes out the lactic. I'm going to get um, have a nice protein drink um, and perhaps have a, a nice protein lunch. Maybe some um, uh, tuna on, on toast or on uh, rice cakes or um, oh, what shall I have? You can have scrambled egg on toast as well. Good morning, Lisa. So uh, a nice protein meal will help build those muscles, repair those, um, those muscles that we've just broken down. All right, one more set. Bend the knees. Eight reps. And then we'll stretch and go. Bringing it up, over the top, and back. That's one. It's a nice little shoulder shredder. Two to go. Eight, good work, put it down. All right, team, bring one arm across the front, head in the opposite direction, stretch it out. And the other side. Take it over the top. Place the hands, small of the back, open up that chest, really stretch out those pecs. Should feel nice. Then bending forward. <laughs> Come up to standing. Place the hands on the small of the back. Push the elbows towards each other. Just deepen that stretch a little bit more. Good work. Roll those shoulders. And forwards. One arm across the front. Just get that blood flow back in. Over the top, like we did in the warm-up. One across the front. Over the top. Good work. All right, that's your shoulders and biceps. Well done, everyone. Tomorrow I'm back at 12 o'clock for a HIIT class. It's only 30 minutes, so that's um, high intensity interval training. It's fast, it's furious, gets the heart rate pumping, but then um, it helps to um, burn calories for the rest of the afternoon. That's all you need, a short, sharp um, burst. Well done, Susie. Great to see you again. Get some protein on. Otherwise, uh, Friday morning, back here, 10 o'clock for leg day. Yes, leg day. Some new exercises to try at home. Um, you're going to obviously have to uh, adapt things, but um, it's just to give you new, uh, some new ideas. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Goodbye.